what's going on guys well today I got a uh, cigar review I actually bought two cigars recently uh, I haven't bought a cigar and I don't know I don't even know when uh, usually I trade for cigars occasionally people will send cigars that they want me to try um, so I do have a human order that's full of nice stuff but I wanted something different um, I wanted to try some acid cigars so I bought myself a Cuba Cuba and I also bought myself this little blondie this is a blondie with a Maduro wrapper and this one is in Petite Corona. It's a 4x38 stick. Let's get this out of the wrapper here. And uh, I've never had any acid cigars before, so I'm curious. Now, if you don't know, the acid line of cigars are infused cigars, so they flavor these. These are not natural flavors. Okay, here it is. You can see this has a little pigtail on the end. Small little stick. $4.90. So, whoa. That's very unique. We're gonna get to that in a second. Um, so yeah, for five bucks, that's uh, that's expensive in my opinion. Um, the Cuba Cuba, which is a large size stick, that was I think eight fifty or eight seventy five, something like that. It was almost nine bucks. All right, so these aren't cheap cigars by any means. But I'll tell you, um, when I first got into smoking cigars, I had a few of the Cao flavored cigars, and uh, I liked them. But I, I soon grew tired of them, and when I started smoking nice, you know, premium hand-rolled cigars, I kind of got the concept that I prefer some of the more natural flavored cigars out there. So the infused cigars, although they're good and they appeal to a lot of people, they didn't really seem like they were for me. And as time went on, I got, uh, you know, the chance to smoke a lot of really nice premium cigars. And to be honest, I got a little snobby about it, and I just didn't want to revisit anything that was infused or flavored because I thought it was maybe, um, I don't know, a lesser cigar. I know it sounds silly, but it's just something that happened. The best comparison I can give has to do with knives, okay? When you first start off with knives, generally speaking, you end up getting some cheap knives. You get some 10 15 $20 knives, you like them, you say, oh, this is really cool, I'm going to invest in something more expensive, something better quality. You know, maybe spend 50 bucks on a knife, maybe get that $100 knife. You're like, wow, this is great. I can't believe I was using $20 knives. Then you move on to the three, $400 knives, you know, and you're like, how can I ever go back to something cheap? But in reality, I do it all the time. I may use a $400 knife today, and then I'll EDC a $10 knife tomorrow, and I'll love it just as much because I have a passion for knives. So I started thinking about this, and the, the same thing must go for cigars. You know, even though you, you know, enjoy a really nice premium hand-rolled cigar, it doesn't mean you can't enjoy a dollar or two-dollar cigar. Now, although these aren't cheap, I'm using this comparison because it's something that's different. You know what I mean? And a few cigars were something I started liking. I soon kind of forgot about them, didn't like them for a long time, and now I kind of want to revisit and see if it's something I like, specifically because I never had any acid cigars. Okay, this is my first experience with one. So, out of the package, this thing stinks. Um, not necessarily in a bad way, but it's very, very strongly scented. And it's a really, really unique smell. It, it's kind of like, it's a combination of a lot of spices, uh, definitely picking up some clove. It's a little reminiscent of like those clove cigarettes. But there's other things going on there, definitely like botanically herbal type thing going on. It kind of smells a little bit like a, an old guy's cologne, if that makes sense. Like, you know, sometimes you get someone's grandfather that, that passes you in a store or something like that, and you're like, wow, that's a strong smell. But it's not bad. It's just different. It smells like old guys. It's weird. I'm not, I'm not hating it, but it's super strong. Wow, interesting. All right, well, let me get this cut up here. Again, it's got a little pigtail on the back. All right, so I'm gonna be careful cutting this. Okay. Mm. On the dry draw, ooh. There's definitely some, uh, some sweetener on that tip there, wow. I just want to take a, a little dry puff before I light it. Very interesting, uh, deep flavor coming through, just on the, the dry puff. I really like that, but my lips are completely coated, saturated with sweetness. That's interesting. All right, let's get this thing lit. I'm just kind of toasting the bottom here, drying out a little bit. See that? 
Man, it's cold in a witch's titty out here. It's only 37 degrees. I got the sweatshirt on. It's a, a pleasant room note. It's different. Certainly different. As you guys uh, probably know from previous cigar reviews, I like to completely toast the bottom and get a lit before I take that first puff. It's actually snowing today. I did a quick little video on that. Can't believe it's snowing. October 17th. I got a roast in the oven. I'm very much looking forward to my dinner. And I thought I'd enjoy a nice little cigar. Alright, so here we go. Mm. Lots of smoke. Wow. Holy crap. Alright. So... <laughs> It's weird because there's flavors coming in with the smoke and there's flavors coming in with the, the wrapper. The, um, I don't know if they use a flavored glue um, or if they're using some kind of a, a saturation process where they're, they're spritzing on you know, some kind of um, sugar liquid or glycerin type liquid. Interesting. Has a great draw. Uh, the flavor is uh, darker, deeper. There's a sweetness that's coming off the end. I mean, it's extremely noticeable. You can't miss it. It's very pungent, very strong. But the actual flavor is is that of um, a pretty decent aged tobacco. It's it's very earthy. Um, there's there's a little bit of spiciness coming through. Not really spicy on the palate. Like it's not it's not like a peppery zing or anything like that. But it has that flavor if that makes any sense, which is really interesting. So it's kind of a mild, powered cigar, but it has a little bit of a bolder flavor, and then the sweetness is just in your face. Uh, I would assume after a while that would die off a little bit from you know constantly drawing on it. You know, it might break down. So, all right, by the way, it is uh, 4.43. Um, so I want to take note of how long this, uh, this lasts because it is a small stick. Really nice. I'm torn about the sweetness. I haven't had an infused cigar in a really long time. So I haven't been used to that. Um, I kind of like it. The room note's amazing. Really, really good. I'm just, you know, resting the cigar here and I, I can smell it, you know, rising around here. And uh, very nice. Um, yeah, the sweetness. I'm, I'm kind of torn on it, on it because... I like it, but I I, I feel like um, if I smoke these all the time, it would it would get old fast. It was something that it's because it's different. It's it's nice. It's a nice change of pace. But I don't know if I like that every time I uh, lit up. You know, um, definitely unique though. Flavors just um. Just a, a pretty much a straight earthy tobacco, um, very earthy. I hear a lot of people talking about all kinds of different flavors coming out of these. I've heard cherry, I've heard caramel, uh, molasses. I mean, you name it. You know, um, the herbal stuff. You know, coming through potpourri. You know, perfume. But I'm not getting any of that. Not on this stick. The actual smoke flavor is just an earthy tobacco. It's actually really nice. Um, I really like it. Really interesting. All right, that, that peppery zing flavor that's kind of there, way in the background, uh, I'm starting to feel it a little bit. Just with a couple draws in, uh, I'm starting to get just that little bit of a tingle, you know, on the, uh, the lips. And that's pretty much it. The room note is similar to how it smells, just right out of the, the cellophane here, or cellulose, whatever the wrapper is. Um, 
it's kind of this weird combination of clove and spices and herbs and men's old guy cologne. <laughs> That's the best way I can describe it. it. It's it's really, really weird and different, but it's kind of growing on me. I kind of like it. Yeah, but it's, it's, I think it's, it's clove dominant. Uh, that's kind of the biggest, the biggest scent I'm pulling out of there is, is clove, and it's nice. It's actually seasonal. You know that this has a little bit of a, a Christmassy type, you know, flavor to it, uh, especially this time of year. It's fall now, and and we're not even at the Halloween, but I already got Christmas on the brain because I'm such a a fan of Christmas. That's my my favorite time of year. So this is kind of bringing me to that that feeling. It's very nice actually. So uh, yeah. I'm just going to keep puffing on this, so I'll get back to you guys when I get down to the band here, keep track of the time, and let you know if anything changes. So I'll see you guys soon. Alright guys, quick update here. See the ash is uh, holding on fairly long, especially for a small cigar. Uh, burn's also doing very well, tons and tons of smoke. Flavor didn't change at all for me, still very much... Just a earthy tobacco, a little bit of a peppery flavor, but very, very slight. It's uh, 4.56, all right, so you can see the burn time there. But I am going to tap this off because I feel like it's going to fall on my lap. Maybe I'll take one more quick little puff on it. But uh, construction's awesome, especially, like I said, for a small cigar. All right, so tap that off. Actually, while well, well, I got you back, let's take this band off here. Interesting band, quite large. It's got that uh, acid logo on there, very vibrant blue, like metallic coloration. Let's see if I can slide this off, which I can. All right, cool. Ooh, all right. Where it says Blondie Maduro, it's a second band. I didn't know that. I thought it was connected. Slide that off the other way. Perfect. All right. So there goes the bands. So at this point, I'm just going to uh, smoke this down to the nub. We'll see what uh, I think. If it changes in flavor, I'll let you know. But like I said, so far, it's just been that one flavor. I'm assuming towards the end that sweetness will die off uh, on the tip. Um, I can tell you that I don't think this is going to be an indoor-friendly cigar. And what I mean by that is that the room note, I, I kind of like. <laughs> it's, it's weird. I kind of like the smell, but... I can definitely see it being nauseating after a while, and especially if you're not a cigar smoker. Like, for me, even in my early years when I didn't smoke cigars at all, if I walked into a room and someone had a cigar going, I always loved that smell. Always loved that. Uh, but this is very, very different from a traditional cigar smell uh, for a room note. So um, I think this is something either you're going to like or you're going to be completely disgusted by. So, yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't suggest this for an indoor smoke or, you know, a, a place you can smoke in public. Um, that other people might be offended by it. If that's something that bothers you, some people just don't care if anyone's offended by them, as long as they're enjoying themselves. If you're one of those people, disregard what I said. <laughs> but if you're a nice guy or a gal, and uh, you do care what other people think, you might want to stay away from uh, from making this your, your public cigar. So, anyway, I'm going to, uh, like I said, smoke down to the nub, and I'll get back to you guys. All right, guys, I'm calling it quits. It's getting way too hot. But I was able to enjoy it down to the nub. Although, I will say one thing, is that the flavor, it kind of started getting harsh towards the end there. Uh, I would say maybe, I don't know, about five minutes ago or so. It's 523 right now. About five minutes ago, the flavor, it was the same flavor, but it started tasting a little bit more burnt, a little bit more ashtray-ish. Um, the equivalent would be like when you get down to like the last quarter of a bowl in your pipe, which usually I discard. Um, when I'm smoking a pipe, I don't smoke it down to nothing. Most of the time anyway. You know, I'm enjoying the flavors. Once it, Again, once it starts tasting how an ashtray smells, it's a no-go for me. When the flavors are gone, I'm done. Um, so, I mean, as far as the overall time on the cigar, not too bad. It is a small cigar. Um, my overall feelings on this, I'm a little torn. I like it because it's different. I would definitely not smoke these all the time, um, especially for the price. The price is a huge factor here. I know these are immensely popular. Um, you know, in general, they sell very well. I think the Cuba Cuba is their best-selling cigar from uh, uh, Acid Line, 
By the way, it's by Drew Estates. I don't know if I mentioned that before. Um, the one Drew Estate cigar I really want to try, actually two of them, the Java uh, cigars and the Java Mint. I believe there's other versions of it. I think they have a, maybe a Connecticut and then a Maduro versions of them, but I can't get them by me. Uh, eventually, we'll get those because I really want to try those. But my experience with the, this one has been, it's kind of middle of the road. I really liked in the beginning. Halfway through, it's it just, I mean, I like cigars that transition a lot, and for me, this didn't transition. The flavor stayed the same throughout. Um, so, you know, eh. <laughs> I'm glad I tried it. I really am glad I tried it. Um, the sweet and tipped, uh, excuse me, the sweet and tip did die off about maybe five or ten minutes ago, okay, like I thought it would. Eventually, just as you keep putting it to your lips, I mean, it just dissipates, you know, breaks down maybe from the heat, uh, or it literally, it just disappears because you keep getting it on your lips, you know. Um, that was kind of a nice thing in the beginning, but again, that also grew kind of old. If I were to smoke another one of these, let's say, you know, later this week or something, um, I might get tired of it. The room note, very interesting. Again, maybe not public friendly. Um, it could be nauseating to some people. It could be uh, offensive. Um, yeah, I don't know, guys. I'm 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 kind of torn. I, I want to say that if you've never had one of these before and you're enjoying cigars, you do owe it to yourself to try it. It's one of those things you definitely should try it. Would I really recommend them as being awesome cigars? No, no. Um, I commend them for doing something different. This is certainly different. If you're smoking cigars and you're like, man, all cigars taste the same. Well, you should really try one of these. This tastes like nothing I've ever had in a cigar, um, but it, it is going to be completely hit or miss. You're going to love this thing or you're going to really dislike it. So, yeah, that, that about covers it all. Um, I'm still looking forward to doing the Cuba Cuba. That won't be for a while, um, you know, because I, I have a, a feeling it's going to be uh, very similar in profile overall. Uh, but you will see that in the future if you're interested. You know, stay tuned. I don't know when I'm going to do it. I'll probably do it sometime before Christmas, though, uh, if it has that same kind of a spice flavor to it, you know, that kind of nutmeg, clove, you know, uh, I don't know I don't know how to describe it. It's just seasonal spices, you know, the, the slew of different, maybe allspice. That's another thing that came through with the, the smell, or not allspice, um, Chinese five spice. If you guys ever, if you have that in your cabinet, go look in the kitchen. If you're a dude and you got a girlfriend or a wife that does the cooking and stuff and you don't know what's in your house, Go look in your spice cabinet and see if you have Chinese five spice. The smell is very similar to that, mixed in with a lot of clove. Okay, that'll give a good, a good idea of what you're in for if you've never had this before and you want to try it. So, that's it. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys have a great day. And I'm going inside to get nice and warm and toasty, and that roast should be just about done. So I'm gonna have some dinner. So that's all. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you have a great day, and I'll see you soon. Take care.